Take a look at this portion of this design. A careful look and you'll notice more than one photo was used there. That means what you see there isn't just one photo. While this design wasn't made with Pixel Lab, we can be able to achieve the same thing with Pixel Lab. In this video, I'll be showing you just how to do that blend effect with a single photo as well as with multiple photos. Now let's get to it. We're gonna start with um the one we uh you, you use um like how to do it with a single photo. So I'm gonna take the um image now. So um this is the image. So you go to eraser two, and then um if you look carefully, you're gonna see um this feature here. So that's what you have, you, you work with that because if you just say you want to clean that, this is what you're gonna have. Uh, this is not what we want so the simple trick lies in this sorry the simple trick like lies here so what you do is like uh, you take this to the ending take this to the end if you look carefully now you are seeing this stuff here so that's the kind of effect we want then you can still reduce here if you feel like you are not getting what you want you can still reduce here but don't take it like this because it's going to be too much you get except that's what you want as if you, you can do that if you want to cover more if you want to cover like if the place you are erasing is much so you can have this so it will be quick get but if you notice it's it's like for doing the thing then you want to reduce it you get and also um if you are cleaning it like this wash out for the bottom this so you see it's not it, it's not clean right so it means not perfect so you, what you do now is go back there increase ensure you take this take it to here and then now you are focusing on that place get it this particular place it's ready for that place so you ensure you, you are cleaning it and then you check it's better but I'm still noticing some part here so, oh. coming so you zoom your walk and sure you zoom so you can see what you're cleaning then we erase Okay, not bad. And but uh, to make it more view, okay, so this ah, this is better. So you have to quit that idea that it actually fades into the background. So that's why you don't brush it. But it's pretty easy, right? How about if you want to do this? You see, um, what they did here um, is pretty easy. They didn't use a particular photo, uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video. Now, if you look carefully, this one is uh, another photo. As a matter of fact, I have this particular photo. So, um, this is another photo, this is another photo, even this one here is another photo, but then it is well matched. How do they do it? It's simple. And also, um, you know, we just did one with the, uh, a photo that doesn't have a background, right? Now, when measuring multiple photos, it doesn't really matter if all, all the background of that photo, like the, the background of all the photos you are measuring must be erased. No, you can choose to leave the background. It doesn't matter. So, um, like this one now, if you look carefully, the background is there. Except you don't want the background to be there. This one too, the background is there. So yeah, so you get the gist, right? So um, so how do you do something like this? It's still the same thing.
now i've placed both photos like this yeah so what you do now is that you erase you erase this photo you take the stuff here now you erase you erase this place why why am i erasing here because i want it to blend with this one here so i'll also come here and erase this part as well erase this part as well so they blend with each other you see that's how you do it so they blend okay so they blend with each other and we have this now um since this one is hard doesn't make sense like this so i'm still going to erase this part i'm still going to erase this part this bottom part so it blends with the background 